This video was brought to you by Curiosity Stream. Coins, notes, passports, anthems, stamps, ships, post boxes, ketchup. You can see marks of the Queen all over the place in the UK. However, following the passing of the Queen last week, we can expect to see some fairly major adjustments in the months ahead. So let's outline some of the things that are set to change, as well as telling you how they might affect you. Okay, so there are a ton of changes ahead, but one of the most notable and obvious is, well, change. Every British coin and all English notes have the face of the Queen on it, as does the currency of a number of other countries too. Now, the exact face has changed throughout the years before, but it's been decades since the monarch on the notes changed altogether. When it comes to coins specifically, it's not uncommon to see coins still in circulation, which are decades old, and that's not about to change anytime soon. That's because it's expected that coins featuring the Queen will still be legal tender for many years to come, and will slowly be phased out as they normally are. Now, notes don't tend to last as long as coins, although the new plastic notes do last a lot longer. Even still, £5 notes tend to last less than five years, which likely means that we'll see the king's face emerge faster on notes than we do on coins. Still though, notes with the Queen's face will continue to be legal tender for many years to come, with the Bank of England normally issuing warnings well in advance of a note's withdrawal. Now, what will the new notes and coins look like when they get the King's Face update? Well, this special coin issued to commemorate his 70th birthday could give us a clue, although it's expected that a new design will be presented to the King in the days ahead in order to receive his approval. Other countries will likely also follow a similar process with their money, removing the Queen's face as it leaves circulation, and in most cases, replacing it with the new King. Now, money isn't the only place you regularly see the Queen's face in Britain, because all British postage stamps also feature the head of the monarch. Now, stamps featuring the Queen's face will continue to be used until further notice, with the Royal Mail understandably yet to issue new stamp designs. Now, Charles has been on stamps before, including in these issued to commemorate his 70th birthday, but we'll have to wait and see what the official King's profile will be when it makes its way onto stamps. That's not the only thing the Royal Mail need to change though, because over 60% of British post boxes feature the Queen's mark, with the E standing for Elizabeth, the R for Regina, which means Queen, and the two representing her being Queen Elizabeth II. Now, these won't be actively updated, but any new post boxes outside of Scotland will feature a new mark for the King, Although, with post falling out of favour, there aren't likely to be that many new boxes right away. Okay, so next up, a trigger warning for the there's no pronouns in the Bible types. Because one, we're going to need to talk about pronouns, and two, her, hers, herself, him, his, his self, theirs, the, thy, thine, ye, your, yours, whosoever, etc, etc. Anyway, with that out of the way, pronouns are actually pretty important here, because we're going from a queen to a king, and with that, the UK's national anthem is going to have to slightly change. Currently, the British national anthem sounds like this. And that's how it sounded for most Brits' entire lifetime. Now though, it's going to have to change subtly to this.
That's because with a king in power, we're forced to shift the titles and pronouns of a number of things. Now, fortunately, not everything has to change. And that's because, well, her and his begin with the same letter, which means that things like British ships, which normally begin with the acronym HMS, won't actually need to change. Now, not everything is quite that easy though, as pronouns mean that we'll also have to redesign the British passport. Now, it wasn't long ago that the British passport was last redesigned, going from the burgundy color adopted by the UK in 1988 to a new blue hue. Now, the Queen's passing doesn't mean that they'll need another big redesign, but it does mean they'll need to change the inside cover. That's because on the inside of each British passport, it proclaims, Her Britannic Majesty, Secretary of State, requests and requires, in the name of Her Majesty, all those whom it may concern, to allow the bearer to pass freely, without let or hindrance, and afford the bearer such assistance and protection as may be necessary. Now, in the modern era, this kind of declaration is more about symbolism and tradition. Countries aren't going to reject your entry because the monarch has changed, but they will still need to change the text going forward. As it's more about symbolism than anything else though, any British passport which has been issued in the Queen's name will still be valid through its lifetime, and they'll simply be updated when your passport naturally comes up for renewal. Finally then, let's end on an interesting one. Because you might notice if you're in the UK that a number of products feature the royal arms, and the phrase, by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen. This is called a royal warrant, and represents products used regularly by the royal household. So yes, that does mean that if you pop round to the palace, you might be offered Heinz tomato ketchup, served Veuve Clicquot, or even ride in an apex lift or elevator, all of which hold royal warrants from the Queen. Now, as these warrants are chosen by the monarch themselves, they don't automatically transfer to the new king. As such, the 400 or so companies with warrants will be required to remove them from their products within the next two years. Unless, of course, Charles reissues them with a new warrant. Interestingly, the heir to the throne, previously Charles, now William, is normally allowed to issue their own warrants under a different branding as does the monarch's partner. That means that a number of brands already have a warrant from Charles, including Aston Martin, Barber, Burberry, Cartier, Fortnum & Masons, Jaguar Land Rover, Kellogg's, Samsung, The Ritz, and Waitrose. Again, this doesn't necessarily carry over, but it's likely that, unless the king's tastes change massively, these companies will receive the official king's warrant in the weeks and months ahead. So those are some of the practical things you can expect to see change over the next few months and years. Some are fairly inconsequential. Others represent a major shift in the look and feel of some of the most iconically British things. Possibly the biggest change though is what the Queen's passing means for the Commonwealth. Now, we don't have time to discuss that today and if countries around the world are likely to ditch the monarchy, but we will be making a video about it later in the week. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to be notified for further updates. And if you can't wait, then you can find more TLDR content exclusively on Nebula. That's the streaming service that we built with our creator friends. And we can find a bunch of TLDR videos which will never make it to YouTube. You can also find a ton of our other videos there ad free and get some of our videos early before anyone else. Signing up also really helps the channel and helps us make more content, not just for Nebula subscribers, but for everyone else too. So if you want more from us and support the channel, then you can get access to Nebula for less than $15 a year with the Nebula Curiosity Stream bundle. Let me explain. We've partnered with the superb streaming service Curiosity Stream, where you can find a bunch of great documentaries about all kinds of fascinating topics. Now, if you sign up to their service today using our link, then you'll get Nebula included absolutely free. That's both streaming services for less than a dollar a month. A crazy good deal to get all of these documentaries on CuriosityStream and more from TLDR on Nebula. If you're interested, then the link is in the description. And thanks so much for your support.